Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. On today's update, I do have a few clips to show you. The last one I promised will actually make you laugh because it was pretty funny. My first clip I have to show you is well, the first clip are about uh, Trump and a Trump supporter. The first one is about the Trump's Stop the Steal scam. And it is a guy that is basically quite distraught because of what his neighbor has done to his wife is in Trump's name. So if you bear with me, I'll show you that clip right now and I'll be right back. Thank you. I live in a pretty nice neighborhood and all the neighbors, we all know each other. Last night about 9 p.m. I see a U-Haul in front of a, a neighbor's house. It's just two houses down. I don't say anything. I just kind of watch them move stuff out of the house into the U-Haul. This morning I read the paper and I see her again, so I kind of just walk over. I'm like, hey, what's going on? I, I didn't know you guys were selling your house. And she said, oh, we're not selling the house. I'm moving. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. She goes, my fucking husband took a second mortgage out on her home. They were $15,000 away from paying off their house. He took a second mortgage out on their home. He donated $75,000 to Trump's scam, Stop the Steal scam, and she was so pissed. She was beside herself. She was leaving him. This fucking guy took a second mortgage out on his home to help pay Trump's Stop the Steal scam. What the fuck? That's the yeah, worst what the ever. Fuck? That's unfucking believable and then the next clip i have for you is an actual trump supporter saying how far he will go to support trump you might enjoy this and this is actually this out there so we're right back still support donald trump if he got us into another war yeah i'd still support him would you still support donald trump if he deported you yeah i'd support him from overseas i guess still support donald trump if he was a terrorist Yes. Would you still support Donald Trump if he slept with your wife? Yeah, I'd still support him. And as you saw, he said that he would basically support Trump even if he banged his wife. That is pretty bad. I mean, come on, really? You you gonna support Trump if you if he calls you a traitor, a terrorist? If he deports you? If he has sex with your wife? I mean, you're already supporting him, but she's stealing from you. I mean, if you saw from the first clip, basically the Stop the Steal scam, this is how far Trump will go to get your money. And it's just terrible. And this is how far Trump supporters will go to support a con artist. I mean, come on, really? Do we really have to support a con artist? I mean, why is he even being considered to run yet again? My third clip for you. Um, I'm sure you've seen this all the internet, how people are talking about a National Rape Day. Well, I actually have an officer of the law that will actually explain exactly what will happen if this idea is promoted by anyone and what can happen to an assailant if someone intervenes as he's trying to rape someone. And you just have to watch it to actually understand it. So I'll let you watch and I'll be right back. Thank you. All right, this is me doing my part on something that I recently discovered that apparently there is references in a video going around promoting a National Rape Day. Now, whether this is trolling or an actual thing, I feel obligated as a law enforcement officer to bring several things to y'all's attention. One, if caught in the act of doing so, believe it or not, most states, you can be shot and killed by an individual intervening and they will never go to jail. Two, the act of promoting this is illegal, which means if your account is handed in to a cyber crimes unit of any kind, you will be charged. Whether or not you're affected by it, well, that's up to the courts, but you will be initially charged. If I catch anyone, anyone supporting this, that is precisely what I'll do. If I catch you in the act, I will end you, period. That's not a threat, that is a legal promise. And then my fourth video is, is a little off topic because I have, two, I have one more video after this I'm going to share with you guys. And it, it, hopefully it will make you laugh, the last video, because I just put it in there for fun. But this video is actually called, uh, is basically showing some guy t saying how the police officer that murdered George Floyd is guilty of all three counts of murder and should be held accountable. So I'll, I'll throw that on here quickly and I'll be right back. This wasn't policing. This was murder. The defendant is guilty 
of all three counts. All of them. And there's no excuse. Thank you. And basically, as you saw, he basically, basically said, right, this said how this guy, this cop should be convicted of all three counts of murder. And it was no excuse. And I mean, there's more better ways to subdue someone. I mean, as the, um, as you saw from a, a few other clips, I mean, I'm sure they said how there was four cops there to take down one person. So that cop should have never had his uh, knee on his throat. And the minute you hear someone saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, then you should readjust your, your weight so the person can breathe. This way it doesn't end up going to the extent it has gone so far. And I'm sure as you've seen, there's been a lot of mass shootings out there. Shit is just getting worse, and I hate to say this, this is all the Republicans' fault. They're the ones who kept saying that the Democrats want to take your guns. When we don't want to take your guns. We don't care about your guns. We have our own guns, for God's sake. I mean, why would we want to take your guns and then also relinquish our own guns? That'd be pretty stupid, don't you think? I mean, we the whole the whole gun law thing is to be to register to buy a weapon even at a private sale like a gun show. Right now, there I think there is I think they said thirteen or twenty states out there that will allow you to walk into a gun show and buy a gun without having to register. And then my last one for your amusement is is basically well. I'll let you see for yourself. It's actually a little a short two-part clip, but it's still pretty funny what happens. So I hope you enjoy this little clip. Then I'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> and as you saw, that was actually pretty good stuff to me. Think <laughs> the ball bouncing off the hoop and the only chick in the head and the dude trying to bounce on a horse and basically getting kicked for being stupid. But I threw that last clip in there just for you guys' enjoyment, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have, please feel free to leave me as many comments as you want. Like and subscribe as much as you want. I mean, you don't even have to like, you don't even have to subscribe to my videos if to leave a comment. I have no problem with leaving comments whether you're, un whether you're subscribed or not. It does not bother me. But if you, more preference goes to my subscribers currently, as far as comments, quick comment replies than non-subscribers, just, you know, I like subscribers and I like viewers, but before I go on and start rambling and ranting and raving, I'm actually going to end my video, and you guys have a wonderful and excellent evening, and I'll broadcast again to you hopefully tomorrow, if not Wednesday at latest. Till then, bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, I'm there, I get paid a fee. Let's ride and